Welcome to the third segment of Prime Time with the Rankin County School District Counselors. My name is Angela Arrington and I'm a counselor at Florence Middle School. This is Ms. Audrey Davis. She is a counselor at Brandon Middle School. Today we're going to talk about empathy and the importance of portraying it. So what is empathy, guys? Empathy is when you are able to walk in someone else's shoes. But what does that really mean? That basically means that you are able to feel how someone else is feeling mm -hmm. without taking it on for yourself. Yeah, and that's, that's kind of neat, Audrey, that you said that because we um, interviewed some middle schoolers and asked them what empathy meant to them. And one of them said that exact thing was what it was like to walk in someone else's shoes. Um, one of them said that it's just a way you feel, just simply a way you feel. Um, and one said that they're able to relate to their friends if they're going through a problem because maybe they've been through one too. Mm -hmm. Very similar. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of neat that you said the same thing. Well, how would I know how someone else feels? Like, sometimes it's hard for me to figure out my own emotions. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I'm frustrated, I think I'm angry, but I'm really just kind of upset of whatever's right. going on. So how would I be able to figure out somebody else's emotions when maybe I'm having a hard time with my own? That's a very good question, Audrey, because emotions and feelings, those are all very difficult things for us to um, be able to kind of decipher through. But I think for me, it's when, um, for example, if my best friend comes in most mornings and we, we sit and wait on the bell to ring and she's happy and smiling mm -hmm. and asking me what we're going to do after school or what we did that weekend, sharing stories and such, and she does the majority of the talking in the mornings mm -hmm. most of the time. But if she came in one morning and she was just kind of quiet and didn't come and sit by me or um, whatever the circumstance may be, I would initially probably think I'd hurt her feelings. Okay. But I would want to go and see what's going on with her. So um, I think once you go and talk to somebody and are able to sit down and listen to them, that you'll be able to hear what they're going through and try to relate to them. So back to the example, if um, I finally sat and talked with my friend and she said that, before she left for school that her mm -hmm. puppy was sick, her new puppy was sick. Um, I would be sad, just like the face you just showed. I would mm -hmm. be sad for her, mm -hmm. not necessarily myself, just sad and ruin my whole day, but I would be able to relate to her. Um, I could think of a time that I was sad, maybe same exact situation or a similar situation, and um, be able just to kind of remember how I felt then mm -hmm. and be able to understand how she's feeling then too. But super important, I think, just to listen so that we can show that's a very good skill of showing empathy is just to listen and see what they're going through and how they're feeling. I think another great way of being able to recognize someone else's emotions would be to look at their body language, mm -hmm. look at their face, kind of see how they're carrying themselves. Because, you know, when you're happy, you're kind of bubbling, smiling. Right. But when you're sad, you usually have your head down or maybe they're very mm -hmm. quiet, like you say your friend was that day. Yeah, very good point. Exactly. So. so empathy is kind of like when we watch a movie mm -hmm. and we get the feelings that the actors are portraying on screen. So like one of my favorite movies when I was a girl was The Lion King and I still love The Lion right. King. That is a good movie for sure. But in that movie, um, Simba ran away mm -hmm. and I felt really, really sad that he had to leave his family and friends and I cried during that movie. Now, I still enjoyed the movie, and once it was over, it was mm -hmm. all I could talk about. But during that, while I was watching it, I had empathy for how Simba was feeling. Is that what we're talking about? Yes, I think that's a very good example of what we're talking about. Um, you weren't in the movie, so you weren't able to be right there with Simba, but you were able to have empathy towards Simba and just kind of feel how he has felt because you have had sad feelings before. So yeah, that's a very good example. Okay. Do you know what? I think um, having these examples, just talking about them, is very beneficial. But I think that we need to see an example in real life of what empathy looks like. What do you think? I think that would be awesome. What do you have in mind? I'm kind of thinking a fashion show. I love fashion shows. Oh, yay. So it's going to be fun. So it's let's have us a fashion show. Okay. So we have some models here today for mm -hmm. our fashion segment. Let's see if they would like to come out and let's see what they have on today. Sounds good. Before we see them, maybe they're wearing some of that cute stuff from the American Eagle. 
commercial. Did you see that? I did. They yes. had these really neat duck boots. And, you know, weather in Mississippi is crazy all the time. You That's leave right. the house in I the know. morning, the sun is mm -hmm. out shining. But when you get home, it's like pouring down, flooding, raining. So mm -hmm. they had these really cute duck boots with glitter. Did you see something you liked on there? Oh, I love duck boots for sure. That's always a safe way to go. So you can dress them up or dress them down. Um, but I also noticed, coming from a counselor point of view, that I just wonder if the count, if the models, when they're on TV, if they're as happy kind of behind the cameras as they are on the hmm. camera. So that's just something to think about and um, kind of relate empathy there too. Okay. So first we have Jillian. And Jillian is modeling a gorgeous cheetah print jacket for us today, one of the hot items for our winter season. She also is very stylish with her long bob. So cute. Good job, Jillian. Next we have Kendall. And Kendall today is modeling some of some beautiful leopard print earrings as well as one of our boat neck tops. Mm -hmm. They are going to be really popular this spring. So, <laughs> Angela, I think something's happening. Jill, what's wrong? No, what's wrong? No. I just feel like I put so much time and effort into my hair today and my outfit. And I don't know, I just woke up this morning and it's just been a bad day ever since I woke up. Me and my mom got a, gotten a big argument before she took me to school today. I just feel like I came to school, I put all this effort in, nobody noticed me. I feel like they notice other people. Like when you come on, all the attention went to you. I just sometimes, Kendall, to be honest, I just feel invisible. And it just hurts my feelings. Like my heart is hurt. I just want somebody to notice me and recognize all the time and effort that I put into this. And then I think it's just the icing on the cake today. My dog, he's not doing well either. I think that he's about to die. And then my, me and my mom got in a fight. And then when I went to math class, I failed that test. I didn't do good. You know why? Because probably it all started with that fight this morning that me and my mom had and then thinking about my dog who's really, really sick. And then I come out here, I'm like, it's all going to be better because now I'm in a fashion show and everybody will see all the effort that I put into my new coat and my hair. And then it was just like, you had to take the attention away from me. And then I just feel like nobody even recognizes me. I just feel so invisible. Hold on one second. I'm telling everybody that you're a drama queen. Just hold on one second. Just hold on. I am not. Why, why? You just want attention, Jill. That's all it is. Attention? You're fine. Everything's I, I just, fine. No, everything's fine. You just want attention. That's it. That's all you want. Well, I don't think our fashion show went the way we planned. I don't think so either. They definitely weren't being very um, sweet nice or caring at all didn't Why? show much empathy didn't show much empathy mm -hmm. I, let's think about Kendall what were some things that you saw with Kendall that maybe weren't very empathetic well there's a long list okay okay um I felt I just wanted to reach out and hug the sweet little model Jill because she was just so upset and Kendall just didn't seem to care at all her body language she kind of at initially, she kind of turned and wasn't showing her much attention and definitely the cell phone. Um, mm. She may have appeared that she was listening because she wasn't interrupting her and talking, but she wasn't really listening. She was texting. Right. Um, called her dramatic and told her she just wanted attention. Mm -hmm. So that definitely didn't show much empathy at all. Um, did you see anything else about Kendall? I That's think about. one of the things that kind of stood out for me with Kendall was that, like you said, even though she appeared to be listening, she was really more caught up in what was on her cell phone. And I know a lot of times we do have important things going on outside of whatever we're talking about. Mm -hmm. But it's very important that we listen to the person that's sharing their emotions with us. And I also think Kendall couldn't relate to what Jill was talking about. That's a good point. For them to be friends, it seems like maybe that Kendall di didn't share her friend's sadness. Mm, that's a very good point. Yeah. 
would let us know that Jill was upset because she did come out looking very happy. Mm -hmm. I wonder what kind of let us know she was upset. I think I first recognized it when she dropped her head. Okay. And that just to me, I was like, uh oh, something's wrong with her. And then she got um, tears in her eyes and covered her face. And um, that just kind of showed me that she was, something was bothering her for sure. Mm -hmm. And she did explain herself really well. Because mm -hmm. one thing that a person trying to be empathetic needs is for the other person to talk to them. So she did explain herself really well. I think for me, you could tell she was getting more and more upset. But Kendall just kind of didn't respond to that at all. It was almost as if they didn't know each other. That is a very good point. You know, I think Jill just wanted to be heard. Yes. Um, and just someone just to listen to her and give okay. her some empathy. So maybe sure. after they've had a little bit of time to think about it, maybe we should try our fashion show again. And this time, what's the best accessory they can have, Angela? Oh, it's got to be empathy. It's got to be True empathy. True empathy. I agree. So, ladies, we want you guys to come back out, and maybe we can try our fashion show again. So first we have Jillian. And Jillian is modeling a lovely cheetah print jacket for us, and it is perfect for our winter season. She's also modeling a long bob with her hair, and that is gonna be perfect for our spring season. Thank you, Jillian. Next, we have Kendall. And Kendall is modeling a beautiful set of cheetah print earrings that will be all the rage this spring season, as well as a boat neck black simple t-shirt with matching shoes. With, with matching shoes, yes. <laughs> What's wrong? I just, my heart hurts so bad. I Why? Just, I think I worked so hard, Kendall, on this outfit today, and I worked hard on my hair, and I just feel like nobody really noticed me. And it really, to be honest with you, it all started this morning when I got out of the car. My mom and I had this huge argument because I didn't do my math homework, and she fussed at me. So then. We had a big argument how I need to spend more time on my homework. So I get out of the car, and then I go to class, and the first block was math. And we had a test, and I didn't do so well. I got an F on my test. I failed my yeah. test. And it's probably because I didn't do my homework, but I couldn't do my homework, Kendall. Huh? I couldn't do my homework because my dog is so sick, and I think he's about to die. So he's on my heart, and then I wake up, I have a fight with my mom, I fail my test, and then I'm like, well, finally. Well, I'll get to do a fashion show today, and I'll get to, somebody will be able to see me, and they'll recognize all the hard work I put into finding this nice coat, doing my hair for the fashion show, and then you come out, and I'm sorry to tell you, but I just felt like when you come out, you got the attention, and then I just felt invisible. And sometimes, Kendall, when I walk down the halls at school, I feel like people don't really recognize me. I just feel so invisible to everybody all the time, and it just hurts my heart, and it just... This was the icing on the cake, and I know I'm having a meltdown, but I just have to tell you why I'm just so sad. I just want people to see me sometimes. Jill, I'm so glad you shared that with me. I'm sorry that you feel that way. I want you to know that I'm sad too. My dog is sick too. He is? He is. I'm sorry to hear that. But it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. Do you want to talk some more about it? I'd love to if you have time. I do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Before we discuss empathy that you just saw, I want you to just take a few minutes or a few seconds just to think about what you saw at home before we discuss it. Okay, Audrey, how do you, what do you think about this segment? Do you think it was better than the last one, the last child, uh, model and show? Oh, most definitely, definitely. Angela. Kendall's whole tone of voice changed. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. The first time she talked to Jill, she was louder, mm -hmm. but this time she used a softer tone. And I think that was one of the things that was very important for helping Jill to calm down. Mm -hmm. Very true. What did you see? Well, I know what I didn't see was the cell phone. That's a very so good point. So that was a very, very good um, proof of 
of care, of showing care and empathy, mm -hmm. is that she gave Jill all of her attention. She put mm -hmm. all of her focus on Jill. Um, she touched Jill's arm just to calm her down a little bit, just having a soft little pat can sometimes calm down. She listened. Um, she was able to truly relate to Jill, and I think mm -hmm. that made Jill feel um, that her emotions were normal. But mainly, I think her just giving her her full attention, her body language was facing Jill. She didn't turn away from her. Mm -hmm. She had listening, and she would ask her questions, which proved that she was listening to Jill. And she also offered her time to continue to talk about mm -hmm. it. Very true. She said, would you like to go talk about this some more? And sometimes that's really all people need. Mm -hmm. It's just a moment just to get their emotions out, you know? Mm -hmm. um, now, if I'm a student and my classmate can't help me with my emotions, what should I do? Well, you definitely should find a trusted adult. It could be a teacher, your counselor, um, a parent at home, any trusted adult that can help you for sure. You need to be able to get someone that you can go and talk to. Okay. So, you can try to take your friend's mind off of the situation, mm -hmm. or you can speak with an adult that you trust, correct? Right, definitely. Definitely, okay. Who are some trusted adults like in a school? Um, uh, your counselor, any teacher, um, your principal. It could be an assistant teacher, a coach. I know a lot of times um, if, they're, if you're in a sport, you're comfortable with your coach because you spend a lot of time with them. So definitely just find someone uh, at school or at home that you are able to trust and talk to. Well, I have really enjoyed today mm -hmm. being able to talk through what empathy really means and actually seeing and hearing examples of empathy. I think that helped us to really understand empathy more. Um, do you want to take this time to go through the PowerPoint really quickly before we end the show? Sure. We're going to take just a few minutes just to kind of review the things that we've talked about on the PowerPoint. The title is to walk in someone else's shoes. Have you ever gotten excited that your friend got a brand new toy? And for middle schoolers, it might be a brand new phone. Mm -hmm. Even though it wasn't yours, you were excited because your friends were? Well, that's an example of empathy too. Have you ever been sad because your friend was sad? Like if your friend was sad, they did not make a soccer, the soccer team, were you sad for them? Then if so, that's empathy too. Empathy. Again, it's putting yourself in someone else's shoes, understanding how another person feels, understanding your own feelings, feeling someone else's feelings, and being able to be kind to people who need support. And going back to the fashion show, I think that um, Kendall did a very good job with all of those bullets on the second go round. Yes. She understood and she, she told Jill that she understood how she felt because of her puppy at the same time. Um, and also, you could tell by Kendall's facial expressions that she was really feeling mm -hmm. the emotion that Jill was feeling at the time, too. Building empathy, um, just to kind of recap, is careful listening. I know we've said that over and over and over, but if you listen carefully and you're even able to summarize or whatever it may be um, what the person's saying just to prove to them that you are listening, mm -hmm. then that is a true character of empathy. Um, and just understanding, being, being able to understand why they're sad. Why is empathy important? Because you always want to treat others how you want to, them to treat you. It's important to imagine how someone else feels. Every situation has its own unique feelings. And some words that will help you show how you feel, you can say, I'm sad, I'm frustrated, I'm happy, I'm excited. And overwhelmed is a, is a big word too, I think. Yes. For middle schoolers, because you have um, your plate full of sports and trying to keep your grades up and all of those things. So over, being overwhelmed is also something that um, someone can show empathy to help you get through. 
Um, here's an example. Unique feelings in every situation. Liz and Jack are in the same spelling bee. Liz missed a word and was crushed. She thought to herself, I'm such a loser. I'm never doing this again. Jack missed a word and was disappointed but not upset and thought, I will practice more and try again next year. So same situation. Mm -hmm. Liz and Jack both were in the spelling bee but they um, just handled it differently mm -hmm. with their emotions. Everyone has their own feelings even in the same situation. Ways to show empathy. You can show empathy by listening to others, being kind to others, or asking questions to understand. Yes, and I think that's very, very important, um, especially if the, the friend or whoever it may be is not really wanting to talk, mm -hmm. using that last bullet to ask questions is mm -hmm. always a good thing to do to help them get, get their feelings out. Three steps to empathy is to understand the situation, think about how they feel, and carefully respond. And carefully is a very important word too because you don't want to say anything to make it worse, so mm -hmm. that's why you should really do more listening than talking for sure. And again, you want to make sure, sure that you are listening to know how that other person feels and to help others. And it also helps to solve conflict. Yes. So that's the end of our show today, guys. Remember, it's okay to show empathy, but it's also okay to have your own feelings. Mm -hmm. Join Primetime with your RCSD counselors next time when we discuss bullying. Follow us at MPB online on Instagram and show your examples of empathy using the hashtag Accessory Empathy. Have a great day.